G'day, this is Steve here, Woodworking Masterclass, and I just thought I'd do a quick video on my favourite style of woodwork. Not for everybody, but if I had to pick one thing in woodworking that I love more than anything else, it's got to be marquetry. It is time consuming, it's fiddly, it's frustrating, it does your head in, but oh, the results are just absolutely stunning. So what I thought I'd quickly show you is how you can turn what looks like a pile of rubbish into something hopefully that's going to be quite beautiful. Here we go. This is the um, picture that I want to inlay and I've done a lot of it. The part I've got to do now is this bird here. And believe it or not, that is the bird. So we're going to turn this into that. Or to be more precise, we're going to turn this into that. The reason I say that is the process I'm using for this particular style of marquetry is called reverse double bevel. Uh, to me, it would be the most challenging one because it really plays with your brain, but it is also the most accurate. I think there's about six different ways I know of doing marquetry, and this one is up the top. Down the bottom is just a knife cutting out shapes, and then this one. And I was fortunate enough to do a class with uh, Silas Koff, and uh, when was that? 2013, I think 2012, where I learned this technique, and it is absolutely brilliant for the detail you can get into whatever it is you're doing. And I'll show you some of the really, really fine detail you can get when, hopefully, this bird is going to go into this. So that's what I've done so far. And the bird that we're doing is going to go right here. So this bird is going to go there. And for all you doubting Thomases out there, let's get it underway and we'll see how it turns out. He's drilled an incredibly small hole in here so that the blade can go through. And the blades I'm using are microscopic. The drill size is a number 70. This is a 116th drill bit, this is a number 70, as you can see. Very, very thin. Now I'll work out where I'm going to start and where I'm going to finish. I think I'll start here. And this is an Archimedes drill, which means as you push it down it spins. And then all of a sudden it'll pop and go straight through, just like that. So now I've got a thread my whole my saw blade through that really tiny little hole. We'll loosen that off. And do this. Get the arm up so it's out of the way. And then see how fine that blade is. Gotta thread that through the hole that I drilled. If I can find it, there it is. A bit of tension. Now I've got to go clockwise on this. If I went anti-clockwise I would be making this small and this the, the top one smaller than the bottom one and it'd be too loose but by going this way this is going to drop nicely into what we're leaving down here. Take your time I'm not worrying about cutting myself. What I'll do more than anything else is burn myself. I'm going to have to move that camera because it's getting in the way. There you go.
using really, really brittle veneers here. There we go. Cut it out. And we'll go back to the table and see how it looks. As you can see, it's cut the, the bird shape out. So this now it should fit nice and snugly in there like that, which it does, which I'm happy about. But look at that little white spot there in the eye of the bird. It's smaller than the pinhead, but with this um, marquetry technique, you can do it. Whereas you try doing that with a, a knife, you'd never get that detail. It's wasteful on veneers. It's not the sort of technique I would use if I didn't have a lot of veneer. But if you do get into marquetry, you tend to just keep on collecting veneer. So that generally isn't an issue. And we just gently push it in. So this, the top, is slightly smaller than the bottom and that's where you get that beautiful perfect fit. What I'm going to do is just put that between two heavy blocks and just let it dry wherever the other block is. There it is. And that's it. That's why I love woodwork, because of the intricacies and the demands it places on you. But the results at the end are absolutely stunning. So I've, I've got um, one flower and one bud to make, and then that's finished. And then that will be cut into an oval and inlaid onto that, which is ebony. And I don't know if I'm going to put glass over all of it or just part of it. But it is part of the bed head for the bed that I've been making for I don't know how long. So anyway, that's it. It's me for the moment. This is Steve pulling the shed door down. And remember to keep it sharp. But more importantly, keep it safe. Look after yourself. Be kind to each other. And I look forward to having your company in the workshop at the workbench again very, very soon. Till then, enjoy what you do. And... Just enjoy life, I guess. Be creative. God bless. Bye for now.